Hundreds of people hit the water today at Half Moon Beach in Eau Claire. First News at Nine's Leanne Stapleton shares why community members plunged into the freezing lake, all to help a special group of Olympians. We have about 230 plungers this year at this location. The Wisconsin Special Olympics icy fundraising event, the Polar Plunge, returned to the Chippewa Valley Saturday. Jump right off that platform into the icy water and then run out as fast as I can. <laughs> Director of Development for the Special Olympics, Ashley Hansen, says to take the plunge, participants had to raise at least $75. Most people go above and beyond that. Um, I think our highest fundraising team raised about $6,000. Michael Stang and his posse raised $1,300 for the cause. We're jumping because we love and support Special Olympics. It's a great cause. Besides just the sports, we provide our athletes. We also provide free health programs. We just give them the opportunity to socialize, to get out in their community, and I just love our mission so much. The money raised from all eight polar plunges across Wisconsin go back into supporting Special Olympians like Danny Koss, who has competed in multiple sports. Basketball track, bocce, and, and bowling. Koss says it feels amazing having so many people support athletes like himself. It's just seeing the community, you know, coming together and jumping for a great cause. Hopefully, uh, it will encourage them to maybe jump next year, you know, uh, even though the water is super, super cold. Hansen says actually jumping into freezing water may not be everyone's cup of tea. It's just as it's a fun experience. People will do this with teams of their coworkers, friends. Um, we have a lot of students come out from high schools and colleges and jump, so it's a really great bonding experience. But she says it's fun seeing people push through, knowing their money is going toward a great cause. Freezing for a reason! In Eau Claire, Leanne Stapleton, First News at 9. Hansen says today's polar plunge almost reached its goal of $65,000. She says in her years working for the Special Olympics and the polar plunge, it's amazing to see the different communities rally together. Winter